specific memories. Absolutely. That's Dieter speaking with our Bill Cunningham. Dieter says Brooks was terminated as a foster parent in 2008 for allegations of sexual abuse. Charges at that time could not be substantiated. Melissa Neely, News Radio 700 WLW. You can see a photo of Barbara Brooks at 700 WLW.com. <laughs> Traffic and weather updates heard every 10 minutes on the 10s, mornings and afternoons. It's 11 o'clock, and from the Chicago Wolves Update Studio, I'm John McKnight. Cubs over the White Sox and for the first time this season, 12 3 the final tonight. Zach Stewart takes the loss. Through five and two thirds inning, gave up six earned. Cubs pop five homers. Alfonso Soriano, Giovanni Soto, Brian Lahair, Luis Valbuena, and Starlin Castro all going yard. Matt Garza, a quality start, went six, gave up three. He also struck out six. Meanwhile, Ryan Dempster goes to the disabled with a strained lat muscle today. White Sox not immune to the injury bug either. John Danks is a grade one tear of the subscap. It's the same shoulder issue he's been dealing with for about a month. There is no timetable quite yet for his return. We'll talk to David Schuster in just a little bit and get all the details. A couple of the scores around the league. Mets beat the Orioles 5-0. R.A. Dickey threw his second straight one-hit shutout. The guy's on an absolute tear right now. Yankees top the Braves 6-2. C.C. Sabathia with 10 strikeouts in that one. Indians survived a slugfest for the Reds 10-9. White Sox now lead in the Central by one half a game. Astros over the Royals 9-7. Brewers over the Blue Jays 9-7 as well. A couple of the games going on. That would be the uh, Diamondbacks and Mariners. They're in the ninth. Diamondbacks lead that one 7-1. Lead the Padres 2-1 in 7 to 5 against the Giants 4 and the Angels 3. Roger Clemens found not guilty on 6 charges this afternoon. Clemens has been on trial for perjury. He leads the Thunder 2 games 1 in the NBA Finals. Next game tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Also reports here that Michael Jordan has chosen Mike Dunlap, an assistant coach at St. John's to the next head coach for the Charlotte Bobcats. How would you like to play in the 2012 Park Open Golf Club in the Grand Cooper Resort in Lake Louisville? But for me, those kind of thinking days are gone. Congratulations, Granley. Looks like you restored this one back to life. Pretty hard to do when you just got to work with what you got available inside the radio itself. Luckily, those good old Curtis Matthews vacuum tubes are holding up. The wiring was tight. Still got a few little kinks to get out of her, but I think she's on her way to being a restored classic. You did real good tonight, Grantley. How many hours did you put in? About two hours in that? About did a real good job, son. I'm proud of you. You're going to get your radio degree to add to your Mathis fan degree here. You're having a summer of challenges, but 
very proud of you. This is a beautiful, beautiful set you brought back to life. It's hard because we had a lot of pieces that, you know, we just had to mend ourselves the best we could. Well, we'll be back with more later. Thank you. This is our Curtis Mathis Made in Texas Beauty 1960. Actually, that design came out in 59, went into full production 1960 for the election. Yeah, the election year.